Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Cindy and I am new here on YouTube. In fact, this is my very first video. I do videos about luxury, shopping, fashion, travel, and lifestyle. So I hope you enjoy my videos. In today's video, I just wanted to share with you what happened to my uh, white cocoa handle Chanel handbags. Just a little backstory. I bought this bag in September of last year. Um, I actually bought it in Paris, so I was there on vacation. I have always wanted a white handbag and I've been wanting a cocoa handle so I was at the store and I believe it was during the time that they had a launch for the 21B collection and I, I was so lucky there were so many different options for me to choose from and I remember there was my perfect mini in pink which I'm gonna put up a picture of me in the store trying that on for you to see and I was also trying on a white cocoa handle and a iridescent blue cocoa handle. I decided to go with the white one. I wore the bag probably three times since then. Being that it's white, I did not want to wear it too often because I was afraid of getting it dirty. So I actually put a toilet around um, the handle and I was very careful with it. I kind of babied it a little bit and recently, I think just a few weeks ago, I was going through all of my bags and I discovered that there was discoloration on the bag. So I'm gonna put up a video right here so you can kind of see what actually happens. You can kind of visual it. Behind the back, around the pocket area, there was this yellowish color that kind of goes around the pocket. And then I thought that it was because me rubbing it against clothes, but then yellow, I don't really wear yellow often. So I was trying to think where this is coming from. So I started to inspect the entire bag and I noticed on the side of the bag, there was some, a hint of yellow as well. And then I opened the bag inside the flap as I opened the top. It was a patch of the same yellow. So it couldn't have been things that I rubbed against because it wouldn't have been on the inside of the flap. I decided I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm gonna bring it back to Chanel and see what they say. I bought it in Paris and obviously I don't live in Paris. So I just brought it to my local Chanel store. The store that I went into was the Crystal Shop at Aria Hotel in Las Vegas. I forgot the SA name, but she was looking at the bag and she couldn't tell me what could possibly happen and she was trying to blame it on me. Oh, you know, it could be your hand, it could be your lotions. And I'm like, no, if it's my hand, it would be on the handle, I get it. But my handle is wrapped. Nothing was wrong with the handle. If it's my hand, it wouldn't be on the inside of the flap, on the top part. You know, it would have been inside the bag, maybe if I dip my hand in there and it gets the bag dirty, it doesn't make sense. But she was trying to put it on me that it was like my fault. But anyhow, she said, I'm going to go check. So she brought it in the back. I don't know who she talks to. And then she came back out and told me that, oh, you know, um, we don't know why, but it could possibly be this, that, light, sunlight, whatever. Uh, it could be you, your hand, your lotion. But we're going to send this into Paris and see what they're going to say, if, if it's something they can fix or not. We don't know if this is something that can be fixed or if there's anything that they can do. But we'll go ahead and send them an email. So she took a picture of the areas that were having the issues and she said, go ahead and bring your bag home because we don't want to take your bag as it's going to take months. So we'll send them pictures with an email and the descriptions of what happened to the bag and then we'll just have to wait and see. But there's no guarantee that there can do anything about it. So I was very sad and disappointed. I was hoping that they could do something for me then and there. But the fact that she was saying that, it would just make my heart very heavy because it, the bag was very new. It's been less than a year and I've only used it three times at most. I was like, whatever. I left the store. And then I went home. I actually went on vacation right after. Within a week, I got a phone call from the store. The manager of the store actually called me. He told me that, oh, we hurried back from Paris and they decided that there's nothing they can do with the bag to fix it. They're gonna swap it out for me. I was so happy to hear that, to be honest. That bag 
it was my only coco handle and i just bought it it was very expensive when i bought it it was it was already expensive but it has gone up in price since i bought it so anything happened to it it would have cost me a lot of money to replace so i was so relieved to hear that the store is going to replace it for me he told me that we have a new batch coming in because it's going to be the new collection come which is the 22a and we don't know what color is going to come in but we can replace it for you with the same bag and i told him no 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 i don't want another white bag because what if it's the same thing is going to happen again so he's like well then um, what color do you want and i told him well i'm open to any color actually i don't have any coco handle um, and I told him anything but black because I do have a lot of black bags and my boyfriend tell me do not get another black handbag like no more black so I told him I'm open to any color maybe a pink one I know green is coming out this season so maybe a green I would love a green bag or just any colors that come in why don't you tell me what you have coming into your store and then I can decide so he said well I don't know what colors are coming in i don't know when they're coming in i know it's gonna be soon i'll just let you know when they come in so good and then he texted me a few days later and said that we have blacks coming in that's it that's the only color there's nothing else and i told him oh my gosh like i mean i don't mind another black bag because I do use a lot of black bags every day it's just like quick easy and go for when i don't have to think what to wear i'll just grab a black bag i told him you know what just put one aside for me i'm gonna be out of town for another week or so so if you don't mind i'll come into the store to swap it out i came back to the store after my vacation there were a lot of bags that had just came in he said oh you know what there is like a pink one that just came in if you want to look at it so i saw it on display actually and it wasn't like the pink i love pink obviously but it wasn't the pink that i want it's more of like a coral pink and i had just sold a coral mini reissue recently so i did not want to buy another coral so i told him no no it's okay i'm just gonna swap it out for the black one if, if it's gonna be my only coco handle then let it be black at least i can wear it all the time right he was able to swap it out for me i was so grateful i was very happy that it got resolved because i would be so devastated all in all i think that the customer service was good not so much the first sa who tried to blame it on me but the store themselves the manager was, uh, was great i just wish that they had more selection at that time more color options i guess but um, it's not their fault and it's okay i'm still very grateful and happy that it got resolved so with that being said i do have an unboxing today to show you my new coco handle that was swapped out for the white one so here it goes look at this it was so hot that when i was holding the bag and i just lift it up and then it just like fell off i guess because the glue from inside was so melted but here is the bag ah, i am gonna go ahead and unbox it with you the camellia here you know beautiful packaging as usual and then the inside it's very carefully wrapped which i appreciate a lot And here's what it looks inside. It has the stuff in. And then it has the dust bag. Oh my gosh. There she is. Beautiful 
So let's go ahead and unwrap it. I like that it's very carefully wrapped. The Ching, when he brought it out, he actually brought out another one. And I kind of didn't like that one as much as this one because of you know, the flap in the front. So I was very careful picking um, the one with the straighter flap. As you all know that sometimes some of the flap, they don't line up perfectly. So this one actually was brand new in the box. Uh, the other one was more like a display. And... Um, Actually, not a display. The, the the one that he put aside for me, it wasn't perfect. The flap right here wasn't straight. So he went in the back and grabbed another one. And this one was all sealed and everything. So as you can see, everything, it still has all the stickers on. And it's just so beautiful. I mean, yes, I don't want another black bag. But at the same time, like I could really appreciate black bags. It's my only coca handle, so I think I'm gonna use this a lot. Oh, let me tell you the size. So this one, I the coco handle comes in mini, small, I think they have an extra mini now. A uh, small, large, um, small, medium, and large. This one is a small, and it's black caviar with champagne gold. And inside. It has, I'm going to take out the stuffing. So it's like a burgundy color interior. It's all leather lined and it, it is obviously microchip. I already have the insert for it. I do recommend using insert for all of your bags just to kind of protect the inside. And the bottom has the four feet. The back has the, the Mona Lisa pocket. So, oh, I'm sorry, not the Mona Lisa, it's just the back pocket. And it's 21A. I like that they, they kept the tag in there for me. Oh, forgot to mention. So when I was there, he was telling me I do have the option to swap it out for the exact same bag in different colors or same color. And the other option is they can give me store credit. And I was like, okay, great. Like, I was hoping to get a different color. So when it was like a black, I was trying to see what my other options would be. He said I can get store credit, which was would be great. However, they told me that, well, since you bought this in Paris, they would give me store credit on whatever the price I paid for, not the two days price. I pay 35, I, I believe 3,500 euros when I was in Paris. That was last September, September 21. So by then, the price has gone up. And also, mind you, price in the US is more expensive too. It's already $5,000. So no, like if you give me a $5,000 credit so I can use that and apply to another bag later on, like another cocoa handle. If, if I'm gonna wait for a different color to get the cocoa handle again, then at least I can get what it's worth today plus tax for me to go and swap it out later. But if I'm gonna get what I pay for, which is a lot less, it doesn't make sense. So I told him, no, I'm just gonna swap it out today for the black. And I mean, I love her. She's still very, very, very elegant, very pretty very classic i just couldn't wait i actually waited a little while to get kind of get my camera and everything ready to shoot my first video so i attempted to kind of take a sneak peek and look at the bag before i before today's video but i had to hold off try to be patient because i want to share that excitement with you guys and i want to share what happened how chanel handles the situation all in all i'm very happy just keep in mind that god forbid if anything ever happened like that to one of your bag don't try to do anything crazy to try to fix it yourself just bring it to them you don't want to damage the bag more than it already is i don't know if i would try to like do more to try to fix the stain that if i ruin it even further it might not be under the warranty all of your bag now has five years warranty all the microchip one is five years warranty so anything happened just be sure to bring it back to chanel and that way they will try to take care of it for you as much as possible and possibly if they can't fix it they can replace it for you so that would be my uh, advice for today and i 
really really am grateful and happy that um I got this baby and added it to my collection. The white is beautiful, don't get me wrong. But then again, we all know that white is very, very hard to maintain. So black it is. <laughs> I just wanted to share that story with you guys today and I hope you enjoy my video. And if you do, please subscribe to my channel and also hit the like button below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys again next time. Bye for now.